But yeah, that's auto. Now I've got to rank the Ten Commandments. I'm gonna remember who's in the Ten Commandments. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Um. Uh. 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 Fuck. I have it pretty high too, but I don't like as as much in Ten Commandments, even though I actually maybe number two. Fuck. I'm more drunk, but. But but I'm still gonna slander Eskimo. I just I just went harder this time. So what's Seldris? Who else is in the tank emeralds? I keep forgetting. Who's in? Oh, Mons Mons Speed. Here. This is to make everyone mad. That's watching. Who else is in Droll? My last. Dude, I can't believe I didn't have Melaska by it. I really like Melaska too. She's like a really fun character. Maybe Drow's here. Golan, Melaska, Mr. Rosa, Zeldris, Gloxina, Drow, Monstreet, Terrieri. Oh, Grey Road. Oh, fuck, I forgot Grey Road. Honestly, I put Grey Road or Terrieri. <laughs> fuck Terrieri. And there are fans who agree with this. Um, Golan's really funny. Doesn't give a shit. He he's a very drunk boomer. <laughs> That's what I have to say about him. He's a very drunk boomer. Um, Esarosa was really trippy. Honestly, his arc was really cool. Like no one expected him to do shit. <laughs> and like this guy fucking like created the arc on his own because he was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do what I want. Like like him or hate him, Esarosa was a fucking adventure, and we're just part of it. Farjan is one of the how how you how you end a character because like at the end he was still an asshole but like he he, he was just a he was a bad he was an asshole parent I guess like good parent but big asshole I guess and also one of the most important characters in the series if being if I'm being honest he actually bring a he actually like bring the tank lands back and actually um and that constructed a lot of the a lot of the later arcs in this series. Um, Zeldris. Why do I have Zeldris here? <laughs> Fuck, I have Avgox in the middle of Zeldris. Okay. Goxenia is probably one of the better redemption arcs in the series. Has probably one of the better, not the best. I think similar for Droll, except I think Goxenia took the spotlight. That's just why it sucks for Droll because he's number eight and Goxenia is number four. Goxenia is just more expressive. Well, Droll just kind of just like standard doesn't really like to talk because he's very depressed or some shit. But yeah, um, Zeldris is hmm. I like Zeldris, but like, there's a lot of wrong things about him as well. Like, Zeldris is pretty fucked up too. Like, he's an executioner, but like, people was like, oh wow, that's kind of sad. Like, sad that he had to kill everyone to to be with Gelda. But like, what about the people he fucking killed? <laughs> like, 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 what the fuck? Like, they just, these are just like random people. And he's like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you so I can be with my loved one. Like, okay. <laughs> And like he actually enslaved Camelot, right? Like you know people like the people that give like Arthur a lot of shit for like doing some fucked up things, which like you should give him shit for doing that, but like Xeldris did it with Camelot and like he relatively got a fine. Like at the end, like he didn't get any punishment. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess that says like how much a good person he is. Monspeed is pretty fucking cool. Honestly, Mouse Code should be 6 and Monster should be 7, but I don't really care. Monster is very cool. Um, Derry fucked him over. Like, I I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna harp on Derry later, but. Very cool. Never had the opportunity to show what he's really made of. Um, really strong. That's kind of it. He's like, he's also kind of in the same boat as like how Meta's and Zeldris are protecting their loved one, but except like. Uh. I don't think Marasby is like kind of like painted as a hero before he does, but because he does that, like, like I think I think that's just kind of the thing, like why I have him there. But 
Honestly, he I think he's kind of some result just about us in that case. Malisco is a really fun character. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> she's a, like she's not as bad as Galan because Galan just like really doesn't give a shit. Like he just shows up and does what he wants a lot of the times. And like Malisco gives a little bit. She cares a little bit more. But yeah. Fun, really powerful too, and like she's like very scary. Like the people in the same tier as her in terms of like power levels or power ranking, like she just gives them a lot of trouble. Like, but once you like surpass her, she's like a wall, and like once you jump over that wall, yeah, you're like, oh, like she's not that hard to deal with. But yeah, she's very strong, pretty smart, probably second or even the first smartest of the Ten Commandments. She's very smart, but yeah, kind of kind of dicks around it too much. Drows like. Gloxinia, but like slightly done worse. That's kind of it. Like, that's still pretty good, but not a lot of things to say about Droll. Grey Roll is really fucking weird. Honestly, her abilities is part of why I put her not 10th. <laughs> her abilities are pretty cool. Also, like, she's very annoying outside of the chains. Like, she's not that bad outside of chains. Like, in the chains, uh, I mean, outside of her commandment, like, her chains can wrap you up. Um,. What's that fucking bug with Like the move that she throw bugs at you, very annoying. Also, she can transform, and she's like, she's like a fucking beehive or something. So she can just create more crew. Derry is, man, I hated how she was like a dumb bitch for no reason. Like she got must be killed for no reason. Like in that same chapter, she she attacked Esrosa right, and like Esrosa no different in like a panel or something. Like, it, it wasn't looking good, and she was, obviously, she was always pissed off because it was her personality or something. And then, like, and then, like, after Monsi, like, just, like, locked him, locked Asurusa up or something, and then she, and then she was like, it's like, yo, how, yo, like, you know, like, what, what, what's, like, your gamer tag? And then, like, she walked at him, and then she, she got fucking uh, Monsi killed. Like, why did she walk at him? Or, like, what the fuck? Like, she had no reason. She's just got no death for, no death at him in, like, a few panels earlier. Like, oh my... <sighs> Derry fucking sucks. <laughs> I don't know, if she didn't have that moment, I'll put her maybe, like, one or two spots higher, but... She's not, I don't think she was that interesting. Her indoor form is cool, I guess, but that's kind of it. Oh. Fuck, I'm drunk as shit already, but it's okay. I'll probably make it through. I still have like a shit ton of slots to go through. Actually. Uh, probably. I gotta do this. Um, I think I talked this about this in another video. Like, yeah, I probably did. I mean, I literally just made a video talking about like, top 10 commandments based on power or something. Fraudred sucks. <laughs> Actually, he doesn't. He's not as bad as people think, but he's just he's just the worst member. Someone had to be the worst, and that's him. Like his his abilities are basic as fuck. But that's kind of it. He's he's not overpowered. That's like his problem. Grey was second last because like she literally has like she almost has no firepower. <laughs> so yeah, I think like yeah. Greyworld is annoying. She's just not overpowered. That's kind of that's kind of her problem as well. She's very annoying to deal with. But yeah, once you pin her down and you and you like and you can deal with her commitment, like if you're like um if you're like an archangel, Merlin, or a tank member members, then like yeah, once you pin her down, that's that's kind of game over from there. Galan is fuck. Galan is like. Critical Gover Galan in the Holy War is pretty good. <laughs> like, honestly, like, I think I can see an argument for him being like 60,000 or even 80,000 power level, which is kind of nuts, but. Yeah. He's pretty basic as well, but I think, like, whatever he has is better than Fraudron. And unironically, like, if Escanor has Critical Over, he would be, like, 
really good as well. Like, Eskadon would be, like, really, really good. Unironically, and that's just kind of funny. Um, Maska is, like, I think I talked about this, like, a few minutes later. She's, like, a wall for the people that are the same tier as her. If you're one tier lower than her, like, she gives, she completely, like, shuts you down. But, like, if you're in the same tier, you have to be very careful, and you're if you're just above her tier, then, like, it, she kind of doesn't matter, but, like, she has Venom, just the Venom thing, um, her Snake Form is pretty good, her Miasma is, can be really good depending on situations, and she's pretty smart as well, so, not the easiest opponent to deal with, but definitely not the strongest one of the bunch. Like, she can, I, I think she can, like, I think in the battle where she went against the tank, uh, not tank, I'm um, against the 7 Day Sins, I think, like, she would have done, she would have done better than Gloxenia and Dro individually. That's what I think, but, like, that's, like, it's because of the situation, not necessarily her power, but, like, even if you can get, do better than someone because of the situation, you're still, like, a threat, like, worth talking about. I think that's, like, what I have to say about Masco. I think Dro and Gloxenia are, like, almost the same. Dro actually has slightly higher power level, but I think Drop of Life is way more important. <laughs> Like, Drop of Life is very, very important. Like, that thing just saves your ass a lot of times. They're very... Um... Actually... I'm placing these... I'm placing these for the four based on their indoor form. I don't think indoor is that impressive, to be honest. I think it's really good, but it's, I don't think it's, like, god tier. But yeah, like... Like, in, in the reform, Vodisa was kind of fucking around, too. I mean, he wasn't fucking around, but, like, he was, like, he was severely underestimating people, like he always does, for a reason, and then, like, yeah. It, it's good, but... I'll, I'll talk why I put Esterosa, like, slightly higher. <sighs> in this form, in this Esterosa, this is a free commandment Esterosa, by the way, so... I think, dude, was it two commandments or three commandments? I think two commandments was able to stop Tarmio and Sir. Start. I think Tarmio's a water one. Yeah, Tarm. He stopped Tarmio from changing the water. Must be never did that, <laughs> and they did the Dairy. and like they're in the vessel forms, which is like shittier, but like, but still, he does something that those in Dura didn't do. So, mm, depends where you want to take it. If you want to put Esteros of fourth because of like fucking consistent and then maybe sure. <laughs> but I don't I don't think Endora is that strong. That's good, but like Endora is like a the virtual too. Like you might have power, but like you can't fucking kill yourself. <laughs> like you can kill your own teammates, so that's like a danger. Zeldras, honestly, it might just completely fuck over Endora. Like I don't know what they're gonna do about God. <laughs> Like, if he, if he just has God the entire time, and, like, once you try to do something, like, he completely such, shuts them down. And then Adari tries to do something, then, like, Zeldris is really resilient. Like, it's very, like, oh, fuck. So, like, you know in the battle, like, when he started to fight Rubus and shit, and then, like, he won, like, 50 battles, like, in a row of, like, battling, like, this guy was, like, unkillable. <laughs> Like, and I don't know if Indora would last long enough, because, like, Indora eventually runs out, right? It's kind of like 8 gates in that sense, so, like, every time you use Indora, like, it, it's a tie. <laughs> it's a tie, like, even, like, it's kind of like saying, like, oh, my guy 8 gates beats anyone, but, like, it's kind of a tie as well, because you eventually die, right? So, yeah. So I just might just shut them, shut them all down. I don't even know... I don't know if Zeldris would really shut that source of down that bad. Now I think of it. That's probably why I put him number two rather than third and fourth, but yeah. I don't have really much to say about this. I think I already talked about this one a little bit, but yeah.